Hey, I'm Dave Matthews, here to talk to you about Boxy. There have been plenty of Media Center applications for computers over the years, but they all fall short. Whether it's navigation issues, lack of detailed information that we at Boxy call rich metadata, or features like codec support for playing back all types of media formats. The free Boxy application solves these problems and adds a very cool social element that brings you automatic discovery around the media you and your friends consume right into your living room. Plus, Boxy is a media center which will automatically identify and play just about any type of media you have stored on your hard drive or local area network. But that's not all, as it also streams tons of free content over the internet. Plus, everyone in your house gets a login to Boxy, so their media, friends, and recommendations are all matched to the right people. The Boxy main screen is organized with suggestions for media that your friends think you may like, what they are watching or listening to now, along with the recent media downloads that you've made to your computer or machines within your network. You can use the remote control that may have come with your computer or your arrow keys to move around the Boxy menus. Pressing Enter on an item selects it, and the menu button or escape key brings you back up a level. The final row of the Boxy front end is the most recent music, photos, or videos that you've watched, so you can jump right back to where you left off last. Don't worry about your mouse when you're in Boxy. We disable it to keep that annoying pointer off of your video. Oh, and once Boxy is launched, you can use the tab button to switch between full screen and window mode. Now here's a quick overview about getting around within Boxy. All of your media within your computer's videos folder automatically shows up under the Boxy movie reel icon, then under my videos. Here you can view the cover art, which Boxy automatically finds for most movies and TV shows. If you have home movies, foreign flicks, or some other types of movies, they won't get the cover art nor the social feed. Or you may even get false positives, which you can go block out by marking them as private. If you want to change the view type, you can go into the settings screen to change between several options, including some with text descriptions. If you have other media on your network, you can add the folders and servers via the settings menu that will... Once you click on a movie's cover art, you can then play from your library, get information about it, or stream the trailer if Boxy finds it on the internet. While playing, you can press the enter button on your keyboard or the play pause button on your remote to pop up the on-screen menu to recommend what you're watching to friends, to rate it, or even download subtitles for other languages. Hey, Boxy's a great way to learn Hungarian. Pressing the space bar or the play pause button a second time actually pauses the movie. Pressing the menu or escape key to get back to the videos icon, you can also stream media from the internet. This is a cool way to watch or download free video content if you don't have a lot of it in your library yet. Just click on the Internet Videos button and Boxy will show you all the popular streaming networks and RSS feeds that you'd normally see within iTunes or other aggregator sites. Boxy also has a built-in torrent application, so if you want to download and collect video files, you can do that too, all legally. Backing up with the menu button on the remote or using the escape key on the keyboard, use the direction keys to enter in on the music notes and then again into your library. Music makes the world sing, and Boxy will automatically make your library pretty by bringing in the cover art, reviews for the CDs, and anything you've ripped to your computer's music folder. If you have more music on your network, you can enter these locations within the setup screen as well. Backing up with the escape or menu key, photos in Boxy work the same way as other media types. With the addition of Flickr and Picasa internet sources today, and the ability for other services to plug in in the future. I already have some music playing in the background, and now it's time to add a slideshow to the mix. Clicking on the photos icon, and then internet photos, I can jump right into Flickr and view an online slideshow of the photos that I've uploaded most recently. Hey, that's a quick overview of the Boxy service. I'm Dave Matthews, and check out our other videos for more detailed information on how to set up Boxy to make your life better.